Chapter 11, Yin Pearl Ching Tan, has the chilling cold flared up again. As he felt waves of chilling cold emit from Ching Tan's body, Lin Dong could not help but shiver as he anxiously asked. Yes. Ching Tan squeezed out an answer through clenched teeth. Her frail body constantly shivered from the cold, a look of suffering on her tiny face. I'll go and call father. Lin Dong quickly said. No, please don't go. Upon hearing those words, Ching Tan swiftly grabbed onto Lin Dong's sleeve. Immediately, the chilling air swiftly formed a thin layer of frost on his sleeve. It's no use. Besides, it's rare to see father in such a good mood. Please do not trouble him, I can endure this. As he looked at Ching Tan's tiny yet deathly white face, Lin Dong felt a growing ache in his heart. Gritting his teeth, he finally nodded. He knew that Ching Tan was right, even if he called father over, it would be of little use and will instead only increase the number of worried people to two. Ching Tan had frequently suffered from this chilling cold since young. After a certain period of time, an extremely dense chilling air will explode from within her body. Under the effects of this chill, her insides will be tormented by extreme pain. Over these past ten years, she has suffered immensely due to this chilling cold. However, even Lin Xiao could not find any solution to alleviate her condition. He once tried to use Yuan Force to forcefully expel the chilling cold, but in the end, he had to spend nearly half a month in bed in order to remove the chilling cold that entered his body. Therefore, every time the chilling cold flared up in Ching Tan's body, the three of them could only helplessly watch as Ching Tan suffered while their hearts were cut to pieces on the inside. Let me carry you back to your room. Observing that Ching Tan was paralyzed with pain, he suddenly lifted her up, hugging her tightly in his arms, and ran like a madman towards her room. HSSSHSS As he dashed into the room, Lin Dong swiftly placed Ching Tan on her bed. Then, he hastily rubbed his arms, which had turned numb from the chilling cold and felt as though they were being pierced by needles. Lin Dong Ji, you, you should return first. I can endure this. Ching Tan hid her frail body under the blanket as she feebly mumbled. However, as she spoke, her body started to tremble even more violently. It seems that the chilling cold was even more intense compared to previous times. So cold, so cold. Ching Tan popped her little head out of the blanket, her tiny face white as sheet and her hair glittering with ice crystals. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong, who was standing beside her, became extremely anxious and agitated as he paced up and down her bedside. Suddenly, his footsteps stopped. Clenching his teeth, he tore off his shoes and jumped onto her bed before proceeding to hug Ching Tan tightly through her blanket. People who train possess a strong and vigorous life force. Lin Dong hoped to use his body warmth to alleviate some of Ching Tan's pain. Even though he understood that his actions would hardly amount to anything, he could not bear to watch Ching Tan being tortured by the chilling cold all by herself. Lin Dong Ji, please don't. Ching Tan hurriedly replied as she felt Lin Dong's embrace. Even though Ching Tan was nearly unconscious from the chilling cold, Lin Dong's movement caused her to regain some of her senses. She clearly knew how potent the chilling cold in her body was, as even Lin Xiao, who was at earthly UN level, had a difficult time dealing with it. How could Lin Dong, who was merely a tempered body fourth layer, handle it? Be good, I'll be fine, clenching his jaw, Lin Dong tenaciously held on to Ching Tan tightly. Even though they were separated by the blanket, he felt as though he were hugging a piece of millennial ice. The bone-piercing chill was akin to thousands of razor-sharp needles relentlessly stabbing into his body. Needless to say, moments later, Lin Dong's body began to shiver as well. Frost appeared on his eyebrows as his teeth chattered non-stop. Nonetheless, despite the pain, Lin Dong's grip only grew tighter. Ching Tan rested her tiny head on Lin Dong's chest, her eyes gazing at the constantly shivering Lin Dong, who was now biting his lips as he endured the cold. Tears began to flow as she felt a faint warmth blossom from the depths of her heart. She knew that she was only an orphan, yet Lin Dong and his family had always treated her like one of their own. Thank you, Lin Dong Ji. Ching Tan lightly mumbled as she slowly lost consciousness, 
her eyelids slowly falling in response. As the layer of frost on Lin Dong's body grew thicker, his consciousness began to fade as well. Suddenly, moments before he was about to faint, a strange suction force arose from his chest area. Soon, he felt the relentlessly chilling cold in his body gradually sucked away by this force. The bone-chilling cold swiftly left his body and Lin Dong slowly began to regain consciousness. As he stared at the melting frost on his arm, he was dazed for a second before he hurriedly opened his shirt. There, lay the stone talisman that he had kept close on his body, emitting a light glow. At the same time, he could also vaguely feel a cooling sensation coming from it. The stone talisman sucked up the chilling cold. Lin Dong blinked as a disbelieving smile surfaced on his face. He did not expect that this chilling cold, which had even stumped father, could actually be sucked away by this stone talisman. While Lin Dong was still in awe at this turn of events, Ching Tan, who had originally fainted, let out a soft cry. Her eyes slowly opened, immediately detecting the changes in her body and exclaiming, the chilling cold has subsided. Seems like it. Lin Dong replied with a smile, as he scratched his head. Then, he let go of Ching Tan and said, now that it has subsided, it's all good. Get some rest. Yes, Lin Dong Ji, thank you. Ching Tan softly muttered, her cheeks turning a light pink as she looked at Lin Dong's smiling face. We're family, there's no need for you to say these words. Lin Dong patted his chest, smiling as he said in a manly manner. Seeing that it was late, he decided not to linger any further and waved goodbye to Ching Tan before turning to walk out of her room. Gazing at Lin Dong's leaving figure, Ching Tan looked like a little bell as she laid on her bed, her languid self appearing somewhat charming and lovely. Her cheek rested on her tiny hands and her little feet, which were as white as jade, slowly swayed over her back. On her lips, a sweet smile hung, brightening her angelic face. After leaving Ching Tan's room, Lin Dong rushed to his room at lightning speed. He quickly locked his door before taking out the stone talisman that was tucked near his chest. Under the lights, three milky white bean-sized crystals appeared from the small crevice in the middle of the stone talisman. Lin Dong carefully removed the three milky white bean-sized crystals. As they rolled onto the palm of his hand, he felt a cooling sensation which reached into the very marrow of his bones. The chilling cold within these pearls was almost the same as the chilling cold within Ching Tan's body, except the chill from the crystals seemed much gentler. This should have been condensed from the chilling cold that was sucked out from Ching Tan's body. Lin Dong muttered as he closed his fingers on the three white pearls, gripping them in his hand. The yin energy contained within these pearls did not have the violent nature of the one observed in Ching Tan's body. In fact, it could even be possible for one to absorb the yin energy from the pearls into one's body. Although he was far from reaching the earthly yuan level, Lin Dong knew that after advancing to earthly yuan level, the most vital step was to absorb yin energy, that existed between heaven and earth, into one's body. After which, the yin energy will merge with the yuan power that lies in one's body, greatly enhancing the attacking potential of one's yuan power. Subsequently, when one advances to heavenly UN level, one must absorb the yang energy, that exists between heaven and earth, into one's body. Eventually, when the yin and yang energy within one's body sign rejizes, a UN dan will be formed. Hence, this way of training was termed as stealing yin and yang. Thus, for the earth UN and heavenly UN stages, yin and yang energy could be considered the most important components. However, within heaven and earth, yin and yang energy can be classified into different grades and categories, with each possessing their own advantages and disadvantages. Most people would, however, choose to absorb yin yang energy directly from heaven and earth because it was the most convenient method. After all, special yin yang energy is not so easily chanced upon. Naturally though, this method would result in them being slightly weaker. Of course, some wealthy people would rather choose to absorb special yin-yang energy. This way, they will end up distinctly stronger than a practitioner on the same level as them. Besides, the higher the quality of yin-yang energy absorbed during the earthly and heavenly UN stages, the stronger the UN Dan formed will be. Thus, 
some wealthier people will expend vast resources in order to find various kinds of special yin yang energy to allow their yuan dan form to be of a higher quality. Obviously, though Lin Dong had never come into contact with yin energy before, he was very certain that the white yin pearl in his hand was definitely much higher in quality than the natural yin energy found between heaven and earth. Perhaps, the yin energy contained within can be classified as third grade or even higher. And to expert practitioners at earthly yuan level, these are highly prized treasures one would kill to obtain. Chapter 12, The Tenth Echo These yin pearls could be secretly given to father for his usage. As Lin Dong licked his lips, a fire lit up in his eyes as he gazed intensely at the three yin pearls in his palm. Since Lin Xiao had fallen to earthly yuan level, if he could absorb the yin energy in these pearls, his strength would definitely be greatly enhanced. However, treating Lin Xiao's internal injuries still took priority because, the longer it dragged on, the worse it became for him. Sometime in the next few days, I will find an opportunity to feed father the red liquid from the stone talisman. Let's see if it will help to heal the injuries in his body. The current Lin Xiao suffered from grave internal injuries. After so many years of dragging himself around even with these injuries, a tremendous amount of damage had been done to his body. If these injuries are not treated, Lin Xiao will likely be unable to safely absorb the yin energy in these pearls. If father can recover his previous strength, our status within the Lin family will be immediately reinstated. After all, even after all these years, only three people from the Lin family have advanced to heavenly UN level. Even within Qing Yang town, those who reached heavenly UN level could be considered as elite practitioners. In this town, the strength of one's faction largely depends on the number of heavenly UN users that they have. Therefore, if Lin Xiao was able to recover his heavenly UN strength, not only will his position be restored, but any impediment towards his progress should disappear as well. This was a future that Lin Dong, Lu Yan, and Qing Tan had long dreamed of. As he imagined Lin Xiao's recover his majestic figure of the past, Lin Dong involuntarily let out a little chuckle. Then, he proceeded to look for a tiny bottle in his room and very carefully placed the three yin pearls inside. He knew that if he wanted to, he could probably exchange these items for grade 3 elixirs as they were quite valuable. After he finished, Lin Dong finally heaved a sigh of relief. Suddenly, an aching sensation emerged from his body. Even though the stone talisman had helped to suck out the chilling cold from Qing Tan's body, his body was still affected by the yin nature chill. Has the chilling cold entered my body? The aching sensation in his body caused Lin Dong's complexion to change. Moments later, he felt as though the aching sensation had stuck itself to the marrow in his bones. It felt as if something was attempting to drill its way into his bones. Bone Refining At this sudden realization, Lin Dong's eyelids blinked rapidly. Bone refining was a key step to achieving tempered body fifth layer, which would greatly enhance the toughness of one's bones, resulting in an enormous upgrade in both power and speed. However, Lin Dong had only just advanced to tempered body fourth layer. Based on his calculations, even if he had the aid of the liquid from the stone talisman, it would take up to ten days before he should reach this step. How did it appear now? It must be due to the chilling cold within Qing Tan's body. After pondering for a while, Lin Dong finally guessed the answer to his question. Instantly a look of amazement surfaced on his face. Did the chilling cold in Qing Tan's body really have such a miraculous effect on tempered body practitioners? The chilling cold in Qing Tan's body was too savage. The stone talisman must have filtered out all of the savageness and left only the beneficial parts in my body. Lin Dong frowned as he recalled that even Lin Xiao, who was at earthly UN level, had a devastating time dealing with the chilling cold and had to recuperate for half a month. Therefore, compared to himself who was only at tempered body fourth layer, his ability to handle the chilling cold would be a joke. In the end, it was mostly because of the help from the stone talisman. I did not expect the chilling cold in Qing Tan's body to possess this kind of effect. However, it will still be a while before the chilling cold flares up again. Upon muttering these words, Lin Dong hastily spat in disgust. Every time the chilling cold flared up, 
it caused Ching Tan an immense suffering. If this is the price to pay for these yin pearls, Lin Dong would rather not have them. As he quickly suppressed this horrible idea, Lin Dong stretched his body and then laid down on his bed. His eyes gradually closed, while the stone talisman on his chest once again emitted a faint glow. Over this period of time, Lin Dong had gained a better understanding of the stone talisman. He now knew that the dark space that he had found himself in could be considered as a spiritual domain where his physical body could not enter. Nonetheless, everything that he learned there could be brought back completely to the real world. In the darkness, a glowing shadow and a human figure flickered, as crisp echoes sounded out continuously. With rapt attention, Lin Xiao concentrated on the movements of the glowing shadow. Even the slightest twitch by the latter, was clearly memorized by him. After such a long period of training, even though Lin Dong could not claim to be at the pinnacle of penetrating fist, he could be considered to have a very high level of mastery. On a good day, he could often generate all nine echoes. However, even though Lin Dong was quite well versed with penetrating first, he was still unable to make any progress with the tenth echo. Pa Pa When the glowing shadow once again produced the ninth echo, Lin Dong's concentration abruptly rose to its peak. In that moment, he experienced an unreal sensation. He felt as though he had become the glowing shadow. The glowing shadow's every minute movement and even the tiniest changes in its control of force were clearly engraved into his mind. Pa! A low, barely discernible echo sounded out as a powerful force once again followed the route through the channels and erupted from the palm of the glowing shadow. The strength of the last echo was truly monstrous. So that's how it's done. Lin Dong's eyes gleamed as a joyful expression surfaced on his face. He had finally grasped the so-called trick behind the tenth echo. While he was in that mysterious state, Lin Dong had clearly experienced how the glowing shadow utilized the flow of force. He found that the tenth echo was not generated from the arms, but rather from within the body. The first nine echoes were on the outside, while the tenth echo was from within. By perfectly coordinating one's muscle and bones, one can break through the limits of the ninth echo and reach a new high. That is the tenth echo of penetrating fist. Lin Dong's body trembled in excitement. This unique combination was something that even Lin Xiao did not know about. If he had not entered into that mysterious state, Lin Dong would never have grasped the secret behind the tenth echo. Based on his calculations, if he could execute the tenth echo, penetrating fist would not be considered weak even among the ranks of level 2 martial arts. Even though Lin Dong had yet to truly grasp the tenth echo, he was confident that after this realization, he would finally be successful in mastering it. Moreover, he knew that once he had mastered the tenth echo, it will definitely become his signature killing move. By then, Lin Dong was confident that he could match up even to someone like Lin Hong, who exceeded him by two layers and wielded UN power. As he recalled all the unscrupulous means that Lin Hong had adopted to force his father consent to an engagement with Ching Tan, the rage in Lin Dong's heart burned even hotter. This time, I will make sure to thrash you until you lose all face to bring up this issue ever again. Lin Dong sneered, yet his expression quickly turned to one of seriousness. He positioned himself into the stance of penetrating fist and began to practice. He knew that Lin Hong was still ahead of the current him, thus he must continue to work hard. Pa Pa In the darkness, the young man's figure flowed gracefully like a monkey. Even as sweat rained down on his body, he tirelessly drilled penetrating fists over and over again as a series of crisp and clear echoes continuously reverberated in the air. Chapter 13, Treatment in the next few days, Lin Dong's lifestyle resumed its usual pace. In the day, he would frantically train his body, and once he was unable to endure the exhaustion, he would slip into the rock pool. Barely half an hour later, he would run out of the pool feeling refreshed and full of energy. Subsequently, sets of penetrating fists were vividly executed, causing a series of crisps echoes to continuously reverberate around the forest. Among the younger generation in Lin family, there was probably no one else who could maintain this intensive regime. After all, the effects of the rock pool were arguably better than that of a grade 3 elixir. Furthermore, 
as the red liquid was diluted, it became mild and gentle. Therefore, it would not hurt one's body at all. In fact, this was most suitable for someone in the initial training phase like Lin Dong. During the night, Lin Dong would once again enter into the darkness of the spiritual domain. In there, he would tirelessly repeat set after set of his increasingly familiar penetrating fist. As he drilled without rest or food, his mastery of penetrating fist greatly improved until Lin Dong could now easily generate nine echoes. With regards to the tenth echo, Lin Dong was also gradually gaining a better understanding of it. Though he had yet to successfully master it, he knew that it was only a matter of time. Furthermore, perhaps it was due to the strength that Lin Dong displayed at their previous encounter, Lin Shan, who previously loved to cause trouble for him, had stopped appearing before him. The latter probably understood that he would only be digging his own grave if he dared to cause trouble for Lin Dong again. Therefore, right now, Lin Dong was able to peacefully dedicate all his energy into his training. In a blink of an eye, a week passed amidst the peace and tranquility. Within this week, Lin Dong had actively looking for opportunities to feed the red liquid from the stone talisman to Lin Xiao. However, during this period, Lin Xiao was constantly away, hence Lin Dong had little opportunity to do so and thus had no choice but to temporarily suppress the thought. This situation continued on till the eighth day, until Lin Dong finally could no longer endure it any further. This was because Lin Xiao was injured once again. As he was training, Lin Dong heard Ching Tan's anxious screams. Instantly he reacted and fled home. He barged into the room to see Lin Xiao lying on the bed, his face as pale as a sheet of paper. Drops of blood marking the ground below his sleeves. Father met a powerful beast when he went deep into the mountains to look for elixirs, Ching Tan softly muttered from behind Lin Dong, her eyes red with grief. Upon hearing these words, a wave of guilt gushed out from Lin Dong's heart as tears dropped from his eyes. Men should not cry. It's just a small injury. As Lin Xiao saw Lin Dong standing by the door, he attempted to lift his body up. Just as he attempted to display a stern expression, a sharp pain emerged from his wounds, causing his expression to twist up in agony. Why are you still trying to put on a brave front now? Here, let me boil this elixir for you. Lu Yan glared at Lin Xiao before she picked up a stalk of light green herb by her side. Hey, that is for Dong Yar. Lin Xiao hastily said, upon witnessing this scene. Mother, let me boil this elixir. You and Qing Tan should take care of father. Before Lin Xiao's words could fade away, Lin Dong dashed forward and snatched the elixir from Lu Yan's hands. Without saying another word, he ran out of the room. This brat! As he watched Lin Dong slip away even faster than a rabbit, Lin Xiao did not know whether to laugh or cry. He helplessly shook his head, a warmth bubbling in his heart. Shortly after Lin Dong left, he came back holding a green porcelain bowl in his hand. The bowl was filled to the brim with a dark green medicine with a medicinal fragrance that could be smelled even from a distance away. Father, please drink this medicine. Lin Dong smiled as he brought the medicine over. Sigh, you're cheeky boy. Lin Xiao helpless shook his head. Even though his heart was aching, he could only receive the bowl. Without a word, he gulped down the medicine. As he saw Lin Xiao finish the medicine, an eager expression surfaced on Lin Dong's eyes. He had naturally added a few drops of red liquid from the stone talisman into that bowl of medicine. However, he did not know how much aid it would provide to Lin Xiao's injuries. Gulp. Upon finishing the medicine, Lin Xiao placed the bowl down and stared at Lin Dong, who was intently looking at his father's face. Just as Lin Xiao was to put on a stern look, he suddenly felt his cheeks turn red as though a fire had been lit within his body. Father Witnessing the change occurring to Lin Xiao, Ching Tan who was standing to one side turned pale. Cough, cough. As Ching Tan and Lu Yan turned white with fear, Lin Xiao's body temperature continued to rise as his face became even redder. A split second later, he suddenly opened his mouth and spit out a mouthful of filthy black blood. Xiao Ji, are you all right? As she saw Lin Xiao unexpectedly vomit blood, Lu Yan hurriedly rushed over with tears in her eyes. Lin Xiao was the backbone of this family, 
if something happened to him, what would happen to her and the children? As Lin Xiao gasped for air, the redness in his cheeks swiftly retreated. In place of it, a healthy reddish glow surfaced. My injuries. As Lin Xiao stared in disbelief at his palms. All of a sudden, he could feel that all the injuries that have been accumulated over the years in his body, had mostly been swept away. The feeling of his channels once again free from any obstruction refreshed him and all his internal organs surged once again with power and vigor. This sensation was something he had not experienced for a long time. Lu Yan, my injuries, my injures, Lin Xiao trembled with excitement as he grabbed tightly onto Lu Yan's hands. A wide smile of delight filled his usually stern face. Lu Yan's regained her wits as she witnessed the emotion in Lin Xiao's eyes. A look of disbelief surfaced on her face as she asked, Have you recovered? Yes, yes, almost, almost. Lu Xiao had become so emotional that he lost the ability to string words together. In the end, he could resist no longer and he tightly hugged Lu Yan while letting out a joyous, heartfelt laughter. Contained within his laughter were sounds of relief after the long years of torment. During these years, his progress has stagnated due to his internal injuries. Even though he pretended to give a strong front on the outside, anyone could tell that the person who was once the most impressive member of the Lin family, was gradually replaced by a rotting husk. However, if there is a will, there is a way. After all these years, his injuries which had hindered him to no end and showed no signs of recovery were finally going away. As he looked at his jubilant parents, Lin Dong rubbed at the corners of his eyes, a wide smile forming on his face. The effects of the stone talisman had vastly exceeded his expectations. He knew that if father drunk the medicine a few more times in the future, eradicating the injuries and making a full recovery was no longer an impossible dream. And when his injuries have healed and recovered completely, Lin Xiao's strength will increase by leaps and bounds. As Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief in his heart, he pulled Ching Tan, who was smiling joyously as well, and slowly left the room. Creak. As he gently closed the door, a smile floated on Lin Dong's face. He softly murmured to himself, Father, rest assured. You will definitely become the pillar of support for the Lin family once again. Chapter 14, Grade 5 Yin Energy The red liquid from the stone talisman was more effective than expected in treating Lin Xiao's wounds. Within five days, the pale expression that had almost become a part of Lin Xiao's normal look, had gradually faded. In its place was a strong vitality, which had once again surfaced within Lin Xiao's body. The fact that Lin Xiao injuries were gradually recovering was the most delightful news in their family. No matter what, Lin Xiao was the main pillar of support for the family, if he were to fall, the rest of them would definitely suffer. As Lin Xiao's injuries recovered, the long festering resentment in his heart also gradually disappeared. Radiant smiles began to spring up frequently on Lin Xiao's usually stern face. Anyone could tell that his heart was also filled with many happy emotions. Lin Dong was naturally delighted to witness the changes occurring in Lin Xiao, in turn, it caused him to feel more energetic when he trained. Over this period of time, the red liquid in the rock pool had also completely dissipated. As such, Lin Dong had to start dripping red liquid back into the rock pool. Thankfully, each drop was able to sustain him for more than 10 days. Combined with the fact that the stone talisman produced a drop of red liquid every 5 days, he was still able to maintain his current training pace. Thanks to the stone talisman and his own exceedingly hard-working nature, Lin Dong's training progress was very rapid. Within these past few days, the itching pain from his bones became more and more intense. The sensation, was akin to having numerous tiny ants gnawing away at his bones. Even though the sensation was horrible, this was definitely great news for Lin Dong. He understood that this only happened when one was about to complete bone refining. Therefore, this clearly implied that his current stage of training had extended from his skin to his bones. When the itching pain finally reaches its climax, his bones would have achieved the initial level of strengthening, at which, he would have officially advanced to tempered body fifth layer. Of course, it took time to strengthen one's body. Even with aid from the stone talisman, it would still be approximately a month before he could complete this step. 
Even though time was running out, Lin Dong clearly enjoyed the feeling of the strength within his body increasing every day. At the same time, he also drilled to become more and more proficient at penetrating fist. Thanks to guidance from the mysterious glowing shadow, the Nine Echoes penetrating fist has been brought to the point of perfection by the Lin Dong. When he executed the moves, it felt extremely natural and also gave him quite an imposing image. As for the Tenth Echo, after the constant practice over these past few days, Lin Dong was gradually becoming better at it. At times, he could faintly hear the last echo sounding out from within his body. Even though it could not match up to the deep and low echo produced by the glowing shadow, it was still a pretty remarkable achievement. Pa Pa In the vast empty fields of the Lin family, a shadow danced like an agile monkey, as a series of crisp clear echoes sounded out in the forests. Six echoes. As he finished his moves, six echoes sounded out. Good, not bad at all. Lin Xiao nodded, satisfied with Lin Dong's performance. The fact that he could generate six echoes within a month of training, was indeed a truly astonishing achievement. Haha. <laughs> Lin Dong cheekily smiled, yet in his heart he secretly mused, would Lin Xiao faint instantly if he knew Lin Dong could actually produce nine or even ten echoes? Father, you seem well recently. Have you recovered from your injuries? Lin Dong asked with a smile as he wiped the sweat off his forehead. Hmm, almost there. If Lin Dong had asked this question half a month ago, Lin Xiao's face would darken immediately. However, right now he answered instantly with a merry look on his face. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong cheerily remarked, So, father should be able to return to heavenly UN level soon. Lin Xiao shook his head, as he let out a sigh. With a pained smile on his face, he replied, It's not going to be so easy. After all, I have suffered from such serious injuries all these years. Even though my injuries have largely healed, there may still be some after effects. Therefore, whether I can return to heavenly UN level, still depends on luck. Even though he said these words, Lin Xiao had a fairly large amount of faith in himself. After all, he was once the man who was hailed as a genius in the Lin family. All these years, his progress had stagnated only because of his injuries. Once his injuries were healed, there was no telling how far he could progress. Lin Dong nodded his head in understanding. He knew that it would not be easy for his father to reclaim his place among the elites in Qingyang town. Father, two days ago, I found this object in the woods. Can you tell me what it is? Lin Dong inquired as he quickly took out a white bean-sized pearl and passed it to Lin Xiao. At first, Lin Xiao did not pay much heed to this request as he casually took the item from Lin Dong and glanced at it. As he was about to dismiss his son's find, he suddenly felt a stream of pure yin energy gushing from the pearl, causing his expression to change dramatically. Grade 5 Yin Energy Lin Xiao foolishly stared at the seemingly ordinary white pearl as shock surfaced in his eyes. Grade 5 Yin Energy? Lin Dong curiously asked. As he was still far from reaching earthly UN level, he did not know much about Yin Energy. Where did you get this from? Lin Xiao looked Lin Dong in the eye and asked him excitedly. I picked it up in the mountains. Lin Dong muttered. Though he had complete faith in his father, he had the feeling that if news of this miraculous stone talisman got out, it may lead to the destruction of his entire clan. In response, Lin Xiao was shocked. Forcing a smile, he nodded his head. After all, he realized that it would be too greedy to ask for a large supply of this invaluable treasure. Father, what exactly is grade 5 yin energy? Lin Dong asked again. Between heaven and earth, yin and yang energy, can be classified into nine grades. Grade 1 being the lowest, while grade 9 being the highest. For most earthly UN practitioners, when they absorb yin energy from between heaven and earth, it is at best grade 2 or grade 3. In the past, the yin energy that I absorbed was merely grade 3. Lin Xiao replied as he tapped into his memories. Based on my judgment, the yin energy contained within this yin pearl should be at least grade 5. For some earthly UN practitioners, this pearl holds a highly seductive appeal. Earthly UN practitioners absorb yin energy, 
while heavenly Yuan practitioners absorb Yang energy. When the Yin and Yang energy sign rejize, a Yuan Dan will be formed. Lin Xiao continued, as he licked his lips. You might not know this, but even within the Yuan Dan stage, there are different ranks. To describe in detail, there are a total of nine different ranks, termed as the nine stars of Yuan Dan. A one star Yuan Dan is the lowest level, whereas a nine star Yuan Dan. I have never heard of anyone in the Great Yan Empire that possesses this quality of Yuan Dan. Of course, it might be because of my seclusion. And the final quality of one's Yuan Dan, will hinge upon the great of Yin Yang energy that one absorbs during the earthly Yuan and heavenly Yuan stages. Thus, the earthly Yuan and heavenly Yuan stages could be considered as building blocks of sorts for the Yuan Dan stage. Upon hearing these words, Lin Dong was stunned as he had never realized how important Yin Yang energy was. If word of this Yin Pearl got out, it would definitely attract the attention of many earthly Yuan practitioners. Ha, after all, grade 5 Yin energy is truly a rare find. Lin Xiao remarked. He he, since father is at earthly Yuan level, please take that Yin Pearl and use it. Lin Dong cheekily replied. Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao's slightly aged face reddened. Letting out a dry cough, he immediately kept the yin pearl without acting coy. After all, the yin energy contained within was indeed very vital for him. Lin Dong silently smiled as he saw Lin Xiao keep the yin pearl. Though soon after, his eyebrows knitted together. This yin pearl was condensed from the chilling cold that emerged from Qing Tan's body. If the chilling cold that emerged was already at grade 5, then how powerful was the chilling cold that resided within Qing Tan's body? Such a terrifying chilling cold, exactly what is going on with Qing Tan's body. Chapter 15, Tempered Body Fifth Layer A hot month of summer passed by in the blink of an eye. During this month, Lin Dong continued to secretly add the red liquid from the stone talisman into Lin Xiao's medicine. Thanks to its miraculous properties, Lin Xiao's injuries had completely recovered, and his previously depressed and pale-faced self had in turn faded into oblivion. During this period of time, Lin Dong had likewise achieved remarkable progress in his own training. Thanks to the red liquid from the stone talisman, the itching pain in his bones kept growing in intensity. Lin Dong could clearly feel that amidst the itching pain, the tenacity and strength of his body were rapidly increasing. This sensation delighted Lin Dong because he knew that he was swiftly advancing to tempered body fifth layer. Huff, huff. In the cool and refreshing mountain cave, a shadow firmly supported his body using only both of his thumbs while his feet hovered off the surface of the ground. He relied solely on the strength of his thumbs to support his entire body as he moved his body up and down using his arms, what we would liken to a push-up. Sweat already drenched his clothes yet new waves of sweat continuously dripped onto the floor, forming a giant puddle. Thud. Every muscle in his body was being fully utilized. Approximately half an hour later, Lin Dong finally collapsed in exhaustion. As he laid on the floor, hurriedly trying to catch his breath, an extreme aching sensation slowly spread throughout his body. Splash. Lin Dong clenched his teeth as he struggled to lift his body and overcome the pain from the overwhelming exhaustion. Without taking off his clothes, he weakly fell into the rock pool. As Lin Dong plopped into the rock pool, light red bubbles surfaced immediately and tunneled into Lin Dong's body through its pores. Lin Dong floated lazily in the rock pool, the current him only had the strength to gasp for breath. It felt as if every cell in his body was protesting against him. However, these protests instantly turned into greed as his cells hungrily devoured the light red liquid that burrowed into his body. Lin Dong closed his eyes as he enjoyed this nourishing sensation. Just as he stretched his body, it suddenly began to shake uncontrollably. A sharp pain reverberated from within his bones and swiftly spread out to his entire body. This sudden pain caused Lin Dong to clench his jaw in agony. Yet a look of excitement surfaced in his eyes breakthrough. This sensation was exactly what Lin Dong was anticipating. His chance for a breakthrough had finally arrived. The pain swiftly spread throughout his body. It was akin to someone drilling through every bone in his body all at once. However, in that instance, 
Lin Dong could clearly feel every bone in his body gradually becoming stronger and tougher. The sharp pain left as quickly as it arrived. In less than five minutes, the pain gradually weakened. After the sharp pain dissipated, Lin Dong felt spirited and full of energy. As he leapt out of the rock pool, he stretched his body, causing a crisp crack to sound out from within. Right now, he seemed to have grown taller and looked much fitter than before. Pa 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 pa. As soon as he landed, Lin Dong immediately executed his familiar set of penetrating fist moves as a series of crisp sound clearly ricocheted in the mountain cave. From the faint echoes, one could tell that the force behind his fists seemed to have grown to a whole new level. Thump. As the ninth echo sounded out, Lin Dong smashed his fist onto a huge boulder. Immediately, a few cracks appeared on the boulder. It seems that both his strength and power had been greatly enhanced after reaching tempered body fifth layer. Truly incomparable to the fourth layer. Upon witnessing this scene, Lin Dong grinned. Just as he was about to rest, a thought sprung up in his mind. Maintaining his form, he closed his eyes and tried to enjoy the mysterious sensation surging through his bones. As he enjoyed the sensation, Lin Dong's body adjusted and moved in conjunction with the flow of energy coursing through his body. Even on the skin under his sleeves, tiny ripples started to surface. Every muscle in his body moved in unison as waves of force surged forth and gathered at Lin Dong's arm. Pa! When the waves of force reached his fist, Lin Dong's eyes suddenly flew open as an extremely tiny echo quietly vibrated out from within his body. This echo was not loud yet it was packed with an immense force. Bang! As the force was finally about to arrive at the tip of his fist, Lin Dong took in a deep breath. Releasing a low shout, he violently punched the solid boulder before him. A low echo sounded out as the cracks began to spread all across the boulder. Finally, it exploded with a massive bang. Such fearsome might! Lin Dong stared at the rubble which was once a huge boulder, a look of disbelief on his face. The force displayed was virtually comparable to that of lower category level 3 martial arts. So this is the true power of the 10th echo from penetrating fist. Moments later, Lin Dong finally regained his senses. A look of excitement bubbled in his eyes. This was the first time he properly executed the 10th echo. He now understood why it was so difficult to master the 10th echo, it possessed such a terrifying strength. According to Lin Dong's calculations, if he encountered Lin Hong now, he could rely on this penetrating fist tenth echo to fight to a standstill with the latter. Even in the Lin family, level 3 martial arts were rare to come by. Plus, among the current younger generation, there was no one who was capable enough to learn them. Hehe, <laughs> Lin Hong, just you wait. As he recalled the vile manner in which Lin Hong casually assumed Qing Tan to be his possession, Lin Dong involuntarily tightened his fist. With a sneer, he cast his gaze towards the rock pool as he eyebrows knitted tightly together. Over this period of time, he realized that the effects of the diluted red liquid from the stone talisman had begun to wear off and was now not as potent as before. Seems like the diluted red liquid is no longer able to satisfy my demands. If I want to quickly advance to tempered body sixth layer, I may have to use the red liquid directly. Tempered body sixth layer can be considered as the most important checkpoint for a new practitioner at the initial stages. At the sixth layer, one can finally refine a UN power seed. Once that is accomplished, one can then be considered as a true practitioner. Therefore, the significance of this step cannot be overlooked. As Lin Dong's expression turned serious, he took out a transparent bottle from his sleeves. It was already half filled with the crimson red liquid from the stone talisman. As he gazed at the bountiful amount of red liquid, the corners of Lin Dong's mouth finally turned upwards to form a smile of contentment. Chapter 16, Eight Desolations Palm Ever since Lin Dong successfully made a breakthrough to the fifth layer, his crazy training speed started to tone down. Although he still had help from the stone talisman Ling liquid, he understood that too much excess will only bring harm upon oneself. Thus he decided to moderate his pace. Consequently, over the next few days, Lin Dong seemed more relaxed than before. Whenever he had time, 
he would practice his almost perfectly mastered penetrating fist. Having previously grasped the secret behind it, Lin Dong was now finally able to smoothly execute the tenth echo of penetrating fist. However, he continued to keep this a secret, after all, this was his secret finishing move. After relaxing at this gradual pace for a few days, Lin Dong finally resumed his intensive training. However, this time, he did not return to soak in the rock pool because it did not bring much benefit to him. In fact, Lin Dong planned to start directly consuming the red liquid from the stone talisman. Lin Dong had pondered for a day before he finally decided on this course of action. The stone talisman Ling liquid was extremely rich in Ling Qi. Based on Lin Dong's calculations, he reasoned that the degree of Ling Qi within was greater than that of a normal grade 3 elixir. Thus, if one was not careful, such a potent Ling Qi may instead do more harm than good. However, he had little alternatives left, if he did not use this method. This is because the diluted stone talisman Ling liquid already had little effect on him. Furthermore, there was only three months left before the family competition and Lin Dong desperately needed to advance to tempered body sixth layer before that. Only then, could he secure his victory over Lin Hong. He knew that if Lin Hong managed to obtain a good result, he would definitely ask grandfather for an engagement with Qing Tan. When that time comes, should Lin Xiao disagree, it would definitely cause some commotion. This was a scenario that Lin Dong did not wish to see play out. Thus, to put an end to this matter, the only way was for him utterly humiliate Lin Hong until he lost all face to make that request. However, although Lin Dong extremely disliked Lin Hong, he had to admit that the latter was indeed skilled. Lin Hong had already advanced to tempered body sixth layer a few months back, who knew how much he had improved since then. Therefore, Lin Dong knew that he must be thoroughly prepared. With all these issues in mind, consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid to boost his training was clearly the only option. Gulp In his room, Lin Dong stared at the bowl of crimson red liquid before him. As he gritted his teeth, he took in a deep breath before he immediately lifted the bowl, emptied its contents into his mouth with a gulu gulu sound. As the crimson red liquid entered his body, Lin Dong's cheeks instantly turned fiery red. White steam started to emerge from the top of his head before spiraling upwards. Glup glup. Lin Dong's teeth chattered uncontrollably. The crimson red liquid that he had poured into his body seemed to have transformed into lava as it flowed inside his body. An intolerable burning sensation struck Lin Dong in every part of his body that the lava passed. Both his arms hugged his body as he lay paralyzed on the ground. As he curled up in pain, he tried desperately to resist and endure the burning sensation in his body. Within the room, a figure thrashed about in pain, rolling back and forth on the ground. His constrained gasps sounded a little hoarse as he was afraid that if he shouted too loudly, Lin Xiao and the rest be alerted. The inhumane torment lasted for a full ten minutes before it gradually receded. As the last wisps of burning pain faded from his body, Lin Dong's trembling self slowly calmed down. He gasped deeply a few times, before stretching out to lie powerlessly on the floor. As he laid face flat on the ground, within his body, a sudden cooling medicinal effect appeared. This medicinal effect quickly infused itself into his bones, causing him to faintly feel slightly numb, as if something had entered into the deepest part of his bones. Refining force has entered my bones. When he became aware of the numbness that spread out from the deepest part of his bones, Lin Dong's mind abruptly jolted. What he was experiencing now, implied that he was slowly advancing towards tempered body sixth layer. When the force channels merged with the bone marrow, a UN power seed will be born in the bone marrow. The pain was worth it. Lin Dong wiped the sweat from his face as he chuckled. Under normal circumstances, it will take at least two or three months before the refining force will enter one's bones. Yet the stone talisman spiritual liquid had shortened the time needed by an insane amount. Although consuming the liquid had caused him a tremendous amount of pain, comparing the rewards that he had gained, all the pain now seemed insignificant. The medicinal effect will linger in my body for a few days, I can't waste this opportunity. Time to start a hyper-intensive training regime. 
Lin Dong crawled up from the ground while he could feel the lingering medicinal effect of the stone talisman spiritual liquid in his body. This medicinal effect was quite valuable, hence he knew that he must not waste any of it. After all, he had a limited amount of stone talisman spiritual liquid and it was good for him to be frugal when using it. As he wriggled his body, Lin Dong let out a satisfied grin. He pushed open the door and exited the house in order to proceed with his daily training. Since he had tasted the benefits from directly consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid, Lin Dong decided that he will consume one drop of stone talisman Ling liquid every four days. A drop every four days. This rate of consumption caused Lin Dong's heart to feel somewhat pained. Although he did not know just exactly how valuable the stone talisman Ling liquid, he knew it definitely would not be lower than grade 3 elixirs. And, consuming a grade 3 elixir every four days was truly lavish, and it was probably something only a handful of people in Qingyang town could afford to. Of course, though he consumed lavishly, the rewards were indeed bountiful. In a short half a month's time, Lin Dong could feel as if something was burning in the deepest part of his bones. This sensation was like something was about to be born in his bone marrow. And when Lin Dong was taking a break from tempered body training, he once again went to disturb Lin Xiao in order get the latter to teach him more martial arts. After several months of practicing penetrating fist, Lin Dong had completely mastered it. Yet he was hardly satisfied, thanks to the miraculous powers of the stone talisman, martial arts were like a shortcut to becoming strong, as even a normal martial art would transform into an extraordinary one under the guidance of stone talisman glowing shadow. Hence, for Lin Dong, it was definitely beneficial for him to learn more martial arts. However, Lin Xiao held a contrasting view. To him, martial arts were important, but the most important factor was still the strength of one's body. He was worried that Lin Dong will neglect training his body if he focuses too much on learning martial arts. In that case, it would not be worth it at all. However, despite his concerns, when Lin Dong executed the seventh echo of penetrating fist, the former was finally cornered. Lin Xiao looked at Lin Dong with a strange gaze for a good part of the day, before he eventually forced himself to admit that his son had an affinity with martial arts that even surpassed his own. After convincing Lin Xiao with his performance, Lin Dong successfully obtained a set of martial arts from the former. 8 Desolations Palm, Lower Category Level 2 Martial Arts Lin Dong was very satisfied because he knew that this set of palm techniques was the same martial arts that Lin Hong primarily focused on. Lin Dong was very eager to see the expression on Lin Hong's face once he realized that Lin Dong's 8 Desolations Palm had immensely surpassed his during the family competition. In the quiet night, Lin Dong once again drifted into the dark spiritual domain. This time, when Lin Dong appeared in the dark space, two glowing shadows also blinked into existence. As he gazed at the familiar palm technique the second glowing shadow was executing, an impatient smile formed on Lin Dong's face. He was eager to know, just how much of an improvement will this lower category level 2 martial art experience be? in the hands of the glowing shadow? Sorry but first another not in relation to the story. We have decided to term the red liquid from the stone talisman simply as stone talisman ling liquid from now onwards or sometimes just stone talisman liquid. I hope this clarifies everything and if anyone has any questions feel free to comment and we'll try to get back to you ASAP. Chapter 17, Scorpion Tiger in the darkness of the spiritual domain, two glowing shadows seemed to dance in pace as they displayed their respective set of palm and fist techniques. Lin Dong's eyes were tightly locked onto the new glowing shadow as the latter demonstrated the eight desolations palm that he had just learned from Lin Xiao today. This stone talisman is truly magical. I guess it draws from my memories and projects the things I have learned in a unique manner. Furthermore, during the process, it perfects the moves. Lin Dong was stumped at how incredulous it sounded. However, although these mystical powers were truly unimaginable, right now, he could only accept the facts that were presented before of him. Since he could not unravel the mysteries behind the stone talisman, he decided to focus on his training instead. After all, the stone talisman did not harm him, 
so why should he bother racking his brains over this issue? Putting his thoughts into action, Lin Dong fully focused his attention onto the Eight Desolations Palm the glowing shadow now displaying. The Eight Desolations Palm was noted for its ferocity. Though it looked simply, hidden within each move was a monstrous force. Engrossed in the glowing figure as it executed Eight Desolations Palm again and again, Lin Dong's brows gradually furrowed more and more as he concentrated. He realized that the eight desolations palm of the glowing figure actually melded the forceful blows with traces of gentle strokes. As strength and gentleness twined together in perfect harmony, the power to devastate any opponent was born. By making a few tiny adjustments, one can actually add traces of gentle strokes into the aggressive eight desolations palm. This stone talisman is truly magical. Lin Dong marveled at the stone talisman. Though these martial arts merely belonged to the lower category, it was not impossible for some truly skilled practitioners to refine and improve them. However, the stone talisman was not a person. Combining gentle and hard strokes will increase the attacking power of eight desolations palm. In fact, if utilized correctly, its strength may even rival that of the tenth echo of penetrating fist. Though, this will definitely be an uphill battle to accomplish. Of course, Lin Dong was long ago mentally prepared for this thus he did not feel disheartened. Instead, a fervor grew in his eyes that were glued onto the glowing shadow as he moved into the stance of Eight Desolations Palm and began to practice. Like sand that slipped through one's fingers, time passed by swiftly as he trained and drilled. In the blink of an eye, another half a month passed. During these past few months, everyone in the Lin family was training intensively. Even the usual troublemakers were forced by their respective parents to train hard. After all, the Lin family competition in two months' time was a very important event for every member of the Lin family. If one is able to distinguish himself in this competition, he will not only be given the best treatment, but his parents' status in the Lin family will also skyrocket. Therefore, many parents hoped that their children will perform well during the competition. In this half a month's time, the burning sensation deep within Lin Dong's bones blazed hotter and hotter. However, the UN power seed continued to elude him, leading him to feel slightly resigned. Nonetheless, he took comfort in his practice of Eight Desolations Palm. Under the guidance of the glowing shadow, he had come close to mastering the Eight Desolations Palm. Even though he was unable to combine the gentle and hard strokes perfectly, when he executed Eight Desolations Palm, the force that he produced was still very impressive. Furthermore, Lin Xiao's had also made a complete recovery. After a few days of cultivation, he also succeeded in absorbing the yin energy from the yin pearl. Even though Lin Dong was not able to pick up anything from his father's outer appearance, he could faintly sense that Lin Xiao's strength was growing by leaps and bounds. Based on his speed, it was only a matter of time before he is restored to heavenly yuan level. In the midst of the dense forest, Lin Dong stood atop a large tree as he gazed down upon the forest. Traces of blood dotted his body as a slightly bloody scent floated his near vicinity. Naturally, this fresh blood did not belong to Lin Dong, but rather to the wild beasts that he had hunted. Over this past half a month, Lin Dong could feel that something was about to be born in his bone marrow. However, no matter how hard he trained, he was unable to break through the final barrier. In desperation, Lin Dong decided to test his skills in the wild as he hoped that his UN power seed will be born during a real battle. Furthermore, it also provided him with a good opportunity to test his mettle. As he was unable to find anyone to engage in actual combat with, he could only turn towards the wild beasts. Over these past few days, several wild beasts have already met their maker at Lin Dong's hands. Furthermore, after overcoming his nerves in the initial fights, Lin Dong was now used to killing these wild beasts. Movement Lin Dong suddenly froze, a split second later, he jumped off the tree and shot off like an arrow. However, he abruptly stopped as he stared at the fearsome wild beast in some distance away. Scorpion Tiger This was a brown creature, whose body resembled that of a tiger. However, its tail was razor-sharp and looked similar to a scorpion. Scorpion Tiger was a savage creature covered in fur as hard as metal, an extremely difficult adversary. 
therefore, Lin Dong briefly thought about retreating after he discovered his new opponent. However, just as Lin Dong saw the scorpion tiger, the latter also discovered his presence. The creature immediately turned its scarlet eyes towards Lin Dong, releasing a loud roar as it stood up. Just as the creature stood up, from the corner of his eyes, Lin Dong spotted a crystal clear dark red fruit, below a tree that was right behind the creature. He could faintly smell a light fragrance emitted by the fruit. Is that, a grade 3 elixir, crystal vermilion fruit? As the crystal vermilion fruit reflected in his eyes, Lin Dong immediately gasped in a breath of cold air. To think that he would encounter a grade 3 elixir here, it seems like today was really his lucky day. Lin Dong had seen this crystal vermilion fruit before in Qing Yang town, where it was being sold at an exorbitant price. Upon this accidental discovery, Lin Dong's footsteps paused mid-step. Seeing this, a murderous intent flashed across the scorpion tiger's eyes. Releasing a low growl, it leapt towards Lin Dong. At this sight, Lin Dong hastily retreated, only to see the creature trampling over a tree, which had a girth as thick as his arm. Thump! As Lin Dong sidestepped behind the creature and threw a few blows in succession onto its body. The strength behind his blows sent the creature flying onto its back. However, it did not look like it took any damage. Such a tough hide! At this scene, Lin Dong froze. He knew that he had underestimated this creature. Roar! The scorpion tiger immediately jumped back on its feet and then leaped into the air as it attempted to stomp on Lin Dong's chest with its thick and powerful tiger hoof. Pa pa pa! A strong musky smell assaulted his senses. Faced with such a ferocious incoming attack, Lin Dong did not dare to take any chances. Instantly, Ten echoes from penetrating fists sounded out as he delivered the final punch to counter the creature's attack. Boom! Fist and hoof collided in midair. Immediately, a large and small figure were blown away in opposite directions. As Lin Dong crashed onto a tree, fresh blood spilled out from the corner of his mouth. Just as rage boiled in his body, he suddenly felt an intense burning sensation. Amidst that burning sensation, Lin Dong could feel that a mysterious power was being born in his bone marrow. UN Power Seed Lin Dong's body stiffened. His mouth hung open in shock as his body started to tremble uncontrollably in excitement. To his amazement, his intense battle with the scorpion tiger was the trigger for the birth of the UN Power Seed that had constantly eluded him. Chapter 18, UN Power Seed From the depths of his bone marrow a bizarre energy slowly flowed as an incredulous force gradually spread out from his bone marrow and started coursing through his body, eventually encompassing every part of his body. Is this the UN power seed? A look of joy sprung up in Lin Dong's eyes. All of a sudden, it was as if the whole world had brightened up. He could even feel a mystical force flowing through the surrounding air which greatly resembled the UN power seed hidden in his bones. UN power Lin Dong stood up and could not help but release a hearty laughter. After such a long period of hard training plus the aid from the stone talisman Ling Liquid, he had finally refined a UN power seed in his body today. Right now, he had officially stepped into the realm of a true practitioner. Roar! As Lin Dong laughed, the scorpion tiger nearby continued to stare at Lin Dong with its scarlet eyes. This time, it could faintly sense a familiar scent coming from the latter. However, this was not enough to deter it. With a low growl, it opened its bloody mouth and charged towards Lin Dong. Sensing the incoming murderous intent, Lin Dong lifted his head. However, in his eyes, the movements of the scorpion tiger felt much slower than before, allowing him to instantly grasp the attack trajectory of the creature. Is this the power of tempered body sixth layer? Lin Dong's eyes lit up as he gently stepped to the side and avoided the creature's pounce. Lightly extending his right palm, a weak light flashed as his palm chopped heavily towards the scorpion tiger's head. Chop! A deep and low sound rang out and scalding fresh blood sprayed into the air. Lin Dong's palm had directly chopped through the scorpion tiger's thick hide and decapitated it. The scorpion tiger's body stiffened before it landed on the ground with a thud. Fresh blood splattered onto the ground, dyeing it crimson red. 
Yuan power, so strong. As Lin Dong stared at the corpse of the scorpion tiger, he had killed in one blow, he involuntarily sucked in a breath of cold air. Is this the strength of Yuan power? No wonder people often say that the fifth and sixth layers are worlds apart. Thankfully, I did not fight it out with Lin Hong previously. Or else, I would definitely suffer. Lin Dong carefully examined his palm and picked up some leaves to clean off the blood stains. His heart was still filled with trepidation as this was his first time witnessing the formidable UN power. Lin Dong kicked the corpse to one side and arrived at place where the crystal vermilion fruit was in two strides. As he stared at the sparkling exterior of the fruit, an envious glint surfaced in his eyes. The price of this grade 3 elixir was rather high. Normally, one would only find them within the ancient deep forests. To be able to discover a stock here today, he must really be blessed by Lady Luck. After Lin Dong carefully examined the fruit, he then stretched forward to grab it. However, just as he touched the crystal vermilion fruit, a faint warm sensation suddenly emitted from the stone talisman at his chest. In response to the sudden change in the stone talisman, Lin Dong fell into a daze. Soon after, he decided to remove the stone talisman and hold it on his palm. Ever since he advanced to tempered body sixth layer, his senses had sharpened considerably. Hence, he could indistinctly feel that the stone talisman was currently releasing a weak suction force. Thanks to this suction force, faint streams of energy were pouring into the stone talisman. The stone talisman Ling liquid is perhaps crystallized from the energy that the stone talisman absorbs. As this concept formed in his head, Lin Dong thought for a while before gazing at the crystal vermilion fruit in his other palm. He suspected that the sudden change in the stone talisman was likely caused by this crystal vermilion fruit. Holding on to the crystal vermilion fruit, Lin Dong hesitated for a moment before he gently brought the crystal vermilion fruit near to the stone talisman. However, just as the crystal vermilion fruit was inches away from the stone talisman, a powerful suction force abruptly emerged from the stone talisman. Instantly, the crystal vermilion fruit flew towards the stone talisman and mysteriously disappeared on contact. Lin Dong was stunned by this sight. Did the stone talisman just swallow the crystal vermilion fruit? Can the stone talisman eat? Just as Lin Dong regained his wits, he suddenly noticed the crevice on the stone talisman flicker with a vermilion glow. Soon after, the glow intensified until eventually, it condensed into two bean-sized vermilion pills. As they tumbled down, Lin Dong quickly swiped them up. Catching the lukewarm pills in his hand, Lin Dong could faintly feel that these pills contained a pure and highly concentrated energy. In fact, this energy was even more potent than that of the stone talisman Ling liquid. These pills should have been condensed from the crystal vermilion fruit, from the pills, Lin Dong could smell the same fragrance he had smelled from the crystal vermilion fruit. In addition to the scene that had just played before his eyes, it was not difficult to guess how the pills were produced. It looks like Stone Talisman is not only able to assimilate the energy from heaven and earth, but it can also absorb elixirs and refine them into pills or liquid medicine of a greater purity. Excitement surfaced in Lin Dong's eyes as he contemplated this new discovery. One crystal vermilion fruit was refined into two pills. Furthermore, the medicinal properties of each pill seemed to be more potent than an individual crystal vermilion fruit. It was as if the stone talisman had the ability to upgrade the effects of elixirs to its peak. I must obtain more elixirs. The energy in these pills seemed to be even stronger than the stone talisman Ling liquid. If I utilized these pills, I can definitely accelerate my training progress. As he imagined the potential it held, Lin Dong's could not help but tighten his fists. He kept the stone talisman properly before he sped away. After discovering this miraculous property of the stone talisman, Lin Dong was extremely excited for a few days. However, his excitement gradually subsided, as he realized that things were not as rosy as he had imagined. Firstly, he did not have enough elixirs for the stone talisman to refine. Even though Lin Xiao had recovered from his condition, he still refused any resources from the Lin family. Therefore, Lin Dong could only rely upon himself to look for elixirs. Furthermore, when Lin Dong tried to feed two grade 1 elixirs to the stone talisman, 
to his surprise, only two flimsy beans were produced. After a few more experiments, he understood that if he wanted to produce pills like before, he needed to use a grade 3 elixir or better. However, just where was he going to find these rare grade 3 elixirs? He got extremely lucky the last time. It was almost impossible for lightning to strike the same spot twice. Faced with these huge obstacles, Lin Dong was forced to temporarily suppress the greed in his heart. Right now, he could only hope to excel at the upcoming family competition so that he could finally utilize the vast resources of the Lin family, and all his previous troubles would be swept away. As he suppressed the extravagant greed in his heart, Lin Dong decided to refocus his energy back to his training. Even though he had advanced to tempered body sixth layer, he knew that consuming the stone talisman Ling liquid directly still held significant benefits for him. Therefore, as time passed, Lin Dong could clearly feel that that the Yuan power seed coursing through his bone marrow was gradually seeping out from his bones. And when the Yuan power finally breaks out of his bones and flows into the channels within his body, he would have reached the first step of tempered body seventh layer, refining Yuan into the channels. Of course, even with the help of the stone talisman Ling liquid, it would still take some time before he could reach that step. As Lin Dong's strength continued to grow by leaps and bounds, the hot summer period gradually ended, heralding the most important upcoming family competition. Chapter 19, Breakthrough Before the Family Competition Time flows like water, in a blink of an eye, the summer heat had dissipated and was replaced by cool breezes that blew across the lands. Even though the heat was gone, the fire within the Lin family members only burned hotter and hotter. This was because, the most important family competition was about to begin. In the dense forest, a shadow flickered, as a set of fist techniques were being perfectly executed, flowing as naturally as the clouds in the sky. A series of crisp echoes constantly reverberated in the forest. Just as the eight echo sounded out, the figure abruptly opened his fists into palms as drafts of wind followed behind each forceful thrust, blowing away all the leaves on the ground. In his hands, the two completely different palm and fist techniques had become exceptionally swift and nimble. His performance clearly demonstrated his complete mastery of these techniques and the fact that he had drilled them countless times before. As the display ended, the figure also withdrew his fists. Excellent. Just as Lin Dong stopped, a content voice sounded out nearby. Immediately, he saw Lin Xiao approaching with a wide smile on his face. Beside him, Ching Tan followed while secretly winking as she made eye contact with Lin Dong, an extremely adorable sight. Not bad, in less than four months, you have managed to reach penetrating fist eighth echo. Moreover, you have also became highly proficient with the eight desolations palm. This is indeed a remarkable achievement. Lin Dong humbly scratched his head, yet in his heart he cheekily smiled. He had yet to reveal all his cards in that display. Eight echoes were an easy task for him who was already extremely proficient in ten echoes. As for eight desolations palm, after two months of intensive training, he reached the step of coupling strength and gentleness. And its destructive potential definitely rivaled that of penetrating fist tenth echo. By possessing these two powerful signatures moves, Lin Dong was probably unrivaled among the younger generation in the Lin family. The family competition will be held tomorrow. Since you are now tempered body fifth layer, and equipped with penetrating fist and eight desolations palm, it should not be difficult for you to achieve a decent result. For the nine layers of tempered body, only the fourth layer was particularly easy to observe. Beyond that, the changes normally occur internally. Therefore, unless one is carefully inspected, one's level would not be known. Even though Lin Dong had already advanced to tempered body sixth layer two months ago, he wanted to keep the stone talisman secret, so he did not tell anyone about his frightening training progress. As such, even his father, Lin Xiao, believed that Lin Dong was only at tempered body fifth layer. Moreover, his father never suspected a thing as it was already an outstanding achievement to rise from tempered body second layer to fifth layer within half a year. Father, have you recovered your strength? Lin Dong suddenly asked as he looked at Lin Xiao's face. Upon hearing these words, Lin Xiao let out a chuckle. 
As he gently ruffled Lin Dong's hair, he murmured, All these years, you, your mother and your sister have suffered immensely because of my illness. Rest assured, I will make sure this kind of thing never happens again. As Lin Dong gazed at Lin Xiao, he could vividly feel that the decadence within Lin Xiao had completely disappeared. Right now, Lin Xiao resembled his old majestic self, except he seemed a bit calmer and reserved. Lin Dong lightly nodded his head, as he began to tear. All these years, his biggest dream was for his father to pull himself together. Thankfully, he finally succeeded. Ha, hey, it's getting late. You can stop training today. Rest well tonight in preparation for the family competition tomorrow. Lin Xiao said as he patted Lin Dong's shoulder before turning to leave. As he gazed at Lin Xiao's back, Lin Dong's fists tightened as he muttered in a low voice, Father, rest assured. Tomorrow, I will shock the whole family. The son that you taught will definitely be the best. Lin Dong Ji, please be cautious if you encounter Lin Hong tomorrow. According to Lin Changqiang, Lin Hong has already advanced to tempered body seventh layer. Ching Tan who was standing at one corner, came up to warn Lin Dong right after Lin Xiao departed, worry on her face. Tempered body seventh layer. Lin Dong was momentarily stunned, though soon after, he chuckled. It seemed like Lin Hong's father has really spared no expense in order to ensure that Lin Hong excelled in the family competition. However, so what if he is at tempered body seventh layer? As the night descended, moonlight poured through the windows into the room. Seated on his bed, Lin Dong retrieved a tiny bottle from his person. Next, he dripped two drops of stone talisman ling liquid into his mouth. Over these few months, Lin Dong's body had gradually adapted to the stone talisman ling liquid. Therefore, he was now able to endure two drops at once. As the two drops of stone talisman ling liquid entered his body, Lin Dong's face turned red. Faint white smoke emerged from the top of his head, as his body temperature rose rapidly. Having gotten used to it, unlike his first attempt, Lin Dong no longer tossed and turned on the floor in pain. Instead, his body merely trembled a few times as he felt that the warm feeling of the UN power seed in his bone marrow become stronger and stronger. After these past two months of training, Lin Dong could clearly feel that the UN power seed within his bones has gradually strengthened. At times, he could even feel signs that the UN power seed was about to burst out of his bones. Lin Dong understood that these signs indicated that a breakthrough was about to happen. Facing these circumstances, Lin Dong did not try to forcibly accelerate the breakthrough. He knew that if he wanted to, he could force his way to tempered body seventh layer. However, he somehow felt that it would be better to let nature take its course instead. And the moment that he was waiting for had finally arrived. As the two drops of rock talisman ling liquid entered his body, the vibrations deep within his bones suddenly became more and more violent, until eventually Lin Dong's entire body began to shake. Something is finally about to break through. Sensing the imminent situation, Lin Dong immediately took a deep breath. He knew that the instant the UN power seed broke through the confines of his bones, it would flow into his body's internal channels. And then, he would finally be able to absorb UN energy from between heaven and earth to train his body. An extremely important step. Buzz buzz. His body started to tremble even more severely. All of a sudden, a deep sound rang out from within Lin Dong's body. After he heard this deep sound, Lin Dong's vision immediately darkened. Suddenly, he could vaguely see that within his body was a glowing walnut-sized light ball, slowly coursing through his body. Moreover, a mysterious suction force gushed out, and thanks to this suction force, traces of extremely mild energy within the surrounding heaven and earth were slowly moving in accordance with Lin Dong's breathing and pouring into his body. Is this UN power seed? Why is it so big? As Lin Dong recovered his vision, a look of shock immediately surfaced on his face. Under normal circumstances, the UN power seed that just broke through the practitioner's bones, should not be bigger than a thumb. Yet this UN power seed was larger than normal by over ten times. Is it because of the stone talisman Ling liquid? Lin Dong held a strange expression on his face. 
The size of one's UN power seed largely depends on how rapidly one absorbs UN power. However, from the get-go, his UN power seed was already so much larger compared to others. After contemplating this issue for a while, Lin Dong finally gave up as he helplessly shook his head. Lying down on his bed, he knew that all he could do now was prepare for the upcoming family competition tomorrow. Lin Hong, let's see if you have what it takes to marry Ching Tan. Chapter 20, The Family Competition Begins Just as the first rays of dawn broke through the clouds and shone onto earth, a hubbub buzzed in the Lin family as a rowdy atmosphere enveloped their manor. When Lin Xiao brought Lin Dong and Ching Tan to the training chambers of the family competition, it was already a lively place, packed full of people. Even though the Lin family could not be considered as a first-rate faction in Ching Yang town, they still held considerable sway. Therefore, there were several VIPs who had come specially to witness this family competition in order to use this occasion to build relationships with the Lin family. Also, this competition also gave them an opportunity to assess the capabilities of the younger generation in the Lin family. After all, the abilities of the next generation are vital for the continued prosperity of any family. If the younger generation in the Lin family prove themselves to be incompetent, then the Lin family will fall sooner or later. Even though this was not his first time witnessing a family competition, Lin Dong could not help but feel slightly tensed. After all, this time, he would be the one in the spotlight. Lin Xiao patted Lin Dong's shoulders reassuringly, trying to ease the latter's nerves. Soon after, he brought the two of them and approached the VIP section of the training chambers. Currently, there were already many people already seated at the VIP section, happily conversing among themselves. Seated in the middle of the VIP section, was a somewhat lean middle-aged man who was cheerfully conversing with the other guests. Suddenly, his caught a glimpse of Lin Xiao and his children, causing him to freeze up on the spot. Though he quickly recovered as a frown formed on his face. In the past competitions, Lin Xiao would normally never appear. Even on the rare occasions when he turned up, he would stand in a discreet corner where no one would notice him. This was the first time in many years, that he directly approached the VIP section. On the left side of the lean middle-aged man were two youngsters, the brothers Lin Hong and Lin Shan. Tellingly, the man seated next to them was likely their father, Lin Meng, who had bad blood with Lin Xiao. Lin Xiao paid no heed towards Lin Meng's stare. Without missing a beat, just as he was about to walk past the latter, Lin Meng suddenly smiled. A teacup in his hand, he casually asked, Third brother, what finally brought you out of your house? Lin Xiao stopped and glanced at his half-brother, whom which he had a terrible relationship with ever since young. A smile surfaced on his face as he replied, Is it a problem? As he witnessed Lin Xiao's smile, Lin Meng was shocked as he noticed that he could not find any traces of the usual despondency in that smile. This discovery made him feel uncomfortable, yet he remarked in an indifferent manner, there is no problem. It's just that today is an important occasion for my Lin family. Since you have appeared, I just hope that you don't embarrass us. Lin Xiao lightly chuckled. Ignoring the insult hidden in Lin Meng's words, he immediately brushed past him before seating himself in a nearby seat. Humph. Lin Xiao's actions caused Lin Meng's face to be distorted slightly as he coldly snorted. A-H-H, Lin Meng Xiong. Is this the man that once had the best chance among the Lin family members to advance to Yuan Dan stage, Lin Xiao? A man seated by Lin Meng's side casually asked with a smile. Those are just rumors. How can you believe them? Lin Meng replied in derision. A-H-H, of course. Right now, Lin Meng brother is the prime candidate among the Lin family to advance to Yuan Dan stage. In the future, let's look for more opportunities to collaborate. The man cheerfully replied, a tone of subservience in his voice. Two years ago, Lin Meng successfully advanced to Heavenly UN level and became the third Heavenly UN practitioner in the Lin family. Over these two years, he was heavily favored by the family and he now control the finances of the entire Lin family. In comparison, Lin Xiao, had almost been forgotten after being an invalid for many years. Even though Lin Meng knew those words were merely flattery, 
the corners of his mouth still formed into a smile. Father rest assured. Later when Lin Dong is thrashed publicly, Third Uncle's expression will definitely worsen. Sensing his father's unhappiness, Lin Hong, who was sitting behind Lin Meng, reassuringly told his father. N. Upon hearing these words, Lin Meng smiled again as he slowly nodded his head. That guy is so irksome. Ching Tan, who was sitting beside Lin Xiao, unhappily complained after she saw Lin Meng's deliberate provocations. They are on the winning side, for now. Lin Xiao shook his head, undisturbed by Lin Meng. Just as he was about to continue, he suddenly turned towards the main entrance. There was a large crowd currently streaming in. Leading the pack, was an old man with head full of white hair and dressed in embroidered robes. He had an impressively robust aura and at this moment he was scanning the training chambers. This man was the current head of the Lin family, and also Lin Xiao's father plus Lin Dong's grandfather, Lin Shentian. Following closely behind Lin Shentian, was a middle-aged man. At his side, stood Lin Xia, whose slim and elegant figure naturally drew the gazes of several young men. As Lin Shentian appeared, the commotion in the training chambers intensified as everyone hurriedly rose to pay their respects. After all, Lin Shentian was considered as a legend in Qingyang town. After he arrived here, he single-handedly built the Lin family. Therefore, his methods and capabilities have left a strong impression on many people. Lin Shentian cheerfully greeted the VIPs before coming to a halt in the middle of the VIP area. However, just as he stopped, he spotted Lin Xiao a short distance away, causing the former to be startled for a moment. Lin Shentian quickly recovered and swiftly walked over. Father As he saw Lin Shentian approaching, Lin Xiao's fists involuntarily tightened, as he stood up and respectfully greeted his father. You are finally willing to come and visit me. As he looked at Lin Xiao, who was in front of him, Lin Shentian offhandedly asked, a complicated emotion in his eyes. In the past, Lin Xiao was the son that Lin Shentian had dedicated the most effort to. Even though the former's eventual defeat had disappointed him, the most disappointing fact was Lin Xiao's descent into despondency after the defeat. The old man was as stubborn as his son. After Lin Xiao's descent into despondency, the downhearted Lin Shentian never initiated a meetup as well regardless of how much he missed his son in his heart. Father, I am sorry. Lin Xiao softly muttered. He knew that Lin Shentian was extremely disappointed by his years of despondency. Grandpa. Ching Tan and Lin Dong, who were standing at one side, also hurriedly greeted their grandfather. A-H-H, it's Dong E-R, and Ching Tan. You kids have really grown, upon hearing their voices, a smile resurfaced on Lin Zhenchen's face. As he gently stroked their heads, he gave the image of a rather kindly and doting grandfather. It's good that you have now finally come out. At least, you bothered to visit me before I have to enter my coffin. Lin Shentian said, as he turned his gaze back towards Lin Xiao. As he spoke, Lin Dong could feel a slight tremble from the old man's hand. It seems like in that aged heart, he was not as calm as he appeared to be. Ha ha, father. Now that third brother has finally decided to appear, let's spare him the nagging. After all, there are still many guests around. The middle-aged man who was following behind Lin Shentian remarked with a smile. Lin Shentian sighed, taking one more glance at Lin Xiao, the former finally went to seat himself. Da Ji, big brother, dot. Lin Xiao gratefully thanked the middle-aged man. The middle-aged man smiled as he nodded his head, before proceeding to pat Lin Dong's shoulder and said, Dong Er, make sure you do not embarrass your father in today's competition. Yes, first uncle. Lin Dong nodded in response. This man was his oldest uncle and his name was Lin Ken. Besides that, he was also Lin Xia's father. As he recalled Lin Xia, Lin Dong immediately turned to see the young lady standing behind the middle-aged man waving her tiny fists at him in a show of support. After Lin Ken and Lin Xiao exchanged pleasantries, Lin Ken brought Lin Xia back to their respective seats. Soon after, the crowd finally settled back into their respective seats and the noise in the training chambers gradually began to die down. 
everyone was intently staring at the clan head, Lin Shentian. Lin family competition had officially begun. Chapter 21, Lin Yun Under the attentive gazes of the crowd, Lin Shentian stood up and cupped his hands together as a sign of respect to the VIP booth. With a bright smile, his clear voice rang out, Today is the family competition of my Lin family. Thank you everyone for coming to support us. Everyone here is a familiar friend so this old man shall not tarry any further, let us go straight away to the main event. As the last word fell from his mouth, Lin Shentian looked to Lin Ken who was beside him. The latter also smiled and nodded before walking to the huge open space in the training chambers and taking out a bamboo tube. Many smaller sticks with words inscribed on them filled the bamboo tube. Old rules draw lots to determine your opponent. All of the little brats who want to participate in the family competition come out and draw your lots. Hearing Lin Ken's instructions, one after another, tens of figures appeared in the open space and drew a bamboo lot from the bamboo tube in Lin Ken's hand. There are five platforms here, those who drew the front five numbers will start first. When all the participants had drawn a lot, Lin Ken smiled as he pointed towards the five stone platforms behind him. Lin Dong glanced at the bamboo lot in his hand, painted on it was the white figure of the number four. Without the slightest hesitation, he straight away walked to the fourth stone platform. After he had stepped onto the platform, a round thing also climbed up, at which Lin Dong could not help but roll his eyes. Lin Changqiang, why is it you? Lin Dong helplessly gazed at the tubby Lin Changqiang before him. I didn't want this either, Lin Changqiang scowled miserably. After Lin Dong had defeated Lin Shan previously, Lin Changqiang understood that the current Lin Dong could not be compared to before. It was most likely that Lin Changqiang was not even considered an opponent for Lin Dong. Yet the lots had already been drawn, and Lin Changqiang could not withdraw either else his father would never let him off when he returned. Lin Dong shook his head, pity on his face, don't worry, I will go gentle on you. Lin Changqiang was speechless, a little bit of bitterness in his expression. The two resigned themselves to their fate as they exchanged a glance. Below, seeing that the first batch were all on stage, Lin Ken waved his hand and shouted, let the family competition begin. As Lin Ken's shout faded, the mood in the training chambers abruptly erupted in a frenzy. On the few stone platforms, figures flashed before finally colliding together in sudden ferocity. Haha, <laughs> I had also advanced to tempered body fourth layer two months ago. Lin Dong, you'd better take care too. Hearing the signal, Lin Changqiang chuckled as his body suddenly jolted. The folds of originally soft blubber unexpectedly hardened substantially. Following which he stamped ferociously off the ground and flew forward like a huge meat bullet. As that amusing sight was reflected in Lin Dong's eyes, he involuntarily broke into a laugh. In this moment, Lin Changqiang's rapidly approaching body suddenly turned and a thick right leg rather violently lashed at Lin Dong. Level 1 Martial Art, Rock Splitting Leg Lin Dong was somewhat surprised as he felt the wind from Lin Changqiang's decently renowned leg style. To think that this guy had actually practiced martial arts. Yet to the current Lin Dong, just this little was of no threat at all. Lin Dong's arm agilely stretched forward and bypassed Lin Changqiang's whipping leg before lightly tapping on his thigh. Ah! Lin Changqiang cried out as his now unstable self fell and landed on his butt. After striking down Lin Changqiang with one palm, Lin Dong once again lifted his fist as if he were preparing to send it chopping down at his opponent. Lin Changqiang immediately held his hands over his head and called out, I admit defeat. Lin Dong wins. Below the stone platform, Lin Ken grinned while shaking his head. Soon after, he shifted his somewhat astonished gaze to look at Lin Dong. Although Lin Changqiang could not be considered outstanding in the Lin family, he had still managed to reach tempered body fourth layer. Though the palm from Lin Dong had looked casual enough, the fact was that it had landed on the spot where Lin Changqiang's strength was the most scattered. If it was just a fluke, then nothing can be said, however if it was intentional, then Lin Dong who was already armed with such discerning eyes at a young age was truly a force to be reckoned with. After hearing Lin Ken's declaration, 
some of the gazes in the training chambers also turned to rest upon Lin Dong. Although they were slightly flabbergasted, in the end they did not pay too much attention to what had happened. After all, Lin Changyang's strength was only average in the Lin family. Winning over him was not a very huge achievement. Lin Dong did not take much notice of these gazes, his own eyes turned towards another stone platform just in time to see Lin Hong absent-mindedly blowing his opponent off the stage with a single strike of his palm. Easily dispatching his opponent, Lin Hong also sensed Lin Dong's gaze and turned to lock eyes with the latter, the corners of his mouth raising to form a sneer. Lin Dong shot one last glance at Lin Hong before withdrawing his gaze and dragging Lin Changqiang off the stage. Lin Dong did not meet any problematic opponents in the first round, thus after Lin Changqiang, Lin Dong once again won the match. Advancing to the top 10 with nothing to write home about. Due to his easy victories in both matches, Lin Dong did not reveal his excessively astonishing strength, thus many people believed that good luck was all there was to Lin Dong. In contrast to Lin Dong's dull matches, Lin Hong and Lin Xia had become the main stars in the training chambers. From start to end, the two had beaten their opponents in a single move. These overwhelming victories made everyone understand that the strength that these two possessed had by far exceeded the rest of the younger generation of the Lin family. I'm afraid that Lin Hong has really attained tempered body seventh layer, seated in the audience. Lin Xiao concluded while nodding after seeing how easily Lin Hong had fared in both of his matches. At these words, concern surfaced on Qing Tan's tiny face. She still remembered that what Lin Hong had said that day, if he achieved a good result in the family competition, he would ask grandfather to be engaged to her. When that time comes, if father was not willing, maybe he would once again part on bad terms with grandfather. Don't worry, nothing will happen. Seeing the worry on Ching Tan's tiny face, Lin Dong smiled as he lightly patted her arm to console her. And Qin Tang slightly inclined her head. A while later, she asked, Who do you think Lin Dong Ge's will face next? If you win the next match, you will advance to the top five. Lin Dong grinned though he did not really care. His current strength was more than enough to face any of the younger generation in the Lin family. Let the second round of the competition begin, Lin Dong. Lin Ken's eyes turned to gaze at Lin Dong before indicating to the big stone platform in the middle. Because they had already reached the selection of the top ten, no matter what, it would be more exciting than the previous round. Thus, there were no longer five matches occurring simultaneously. Instead, competition would go match by match, allowing the audience absolute clarity. At Lin Ken's voice, Lin Dong lightly sighed before quickly walking towards the stone platform. Lin Dong Ji, you can do it. Behind him, Ching Tan waved her tiny fists in the air while aiding him with a rallying cry of support. Within the training chambers, several other gazes also turned towards Lin Dong, a hint of curiosity and expectation in their eyes. Although Lin Dong's reputation in the Lin family was incomparable to the brilliance of Lin Xia and Lin Hong, his father was after all once the most talented in the whole Lin family. As they thought back to the past family competition, they recalled that Lin Xiao had effortlessly been crowned number one. Exactly how much of that capability will his son show in today's competition? From the VIP booth, Lin Shentian and the rest also locked their eyes onto Lin Dong. A similar curiosity in their hearts. Under the attentive watch of the crowd, Lin Dong walked up the stone platform. When he reached his spot, Lin Ken looked to the competition list in his hands as his brows slightly furrowed. After a little hesitation, he read out the second name, Lin Yun. Hearing this name, a small uproar emerged in the training chambers. Some of the younger generation of the Lin family turned to look at Lin Dong with sympathy. Lin Dong was also stunned by this name, evidently somewhat astonished at the thorny problem his opponent will be. Like Lin Xia and Lin Hong, Lin Yun was considered as one of the elites among the younger generation of the Lin family. Both parents were from the Lin family but had died at the hands of bandits. Thus, he had become uncommunicative since a young age, yet he was quite gifted. It was heard that two months ago, he had condensed a Yuan power seed in his body, becoming the third one, after Lin Xia and Lin Hong, 
to reach tempered body sixth layer among the younger generation of the Lin family. This opponent was going to be somewhat troublesome. Lin Dong licked his lips as a fire gradually burned in his eyes. This was exactly the kind of opponent he needed. Chapter 22, Crowd Stunning Martial Arts Hehe, <laughs> that chap is really unlucky. Lin Shan inwardly rejoiced at the misfortune that had fallen upon Lin Dong, while gazing at the latter who stood on the stone platform. To a certain extent, Lin Yun was not inferior to Lin Hong. In fact, if they both were given the same treatment, it would be difficult to say who would be stronger in the future. Now that Lin Dong had actually met Lin Yun in this round, it seems like Lin Dong's competition journey would be cut short here. Too bad, I had originally planned to teach him a lesson personally. Looks like there's no need now. Lin Shan snickered as lazily remarked. To think that his opponent would be Lin Yun. When Lin Xiao heard about Lin Dong's current matchup, the former could not help but furrow his brows. Clearly, this name was not foreign to him. On one side, Ching Tan tightly clenched her fists, as a worried look surfaced on her tiny face. Don't be too worried, even if he loses to Lin Yun, he would still have made the most of a bad situation. After all, Lin Dong has only trained for a much shorter period than him. Lin Xiao remarked. After he had recovered from his injuries, he had naturally become much less strict on Lin Dong. Upon hearing these words, Ching Tan did not say anything. As her pupils shifted to stare at the young man on the stone platform, even though she did not know why, in her heart, she was anticipating a different outcome. Lin Dong Ji will not lose so easily. After Lin Ken announced the opponent, a youngster dressed in ash-colored clothes silently emerged from the crowd, before walking up the stone platform. This youngster was rather skinny, yet his gaze was as penetrating as an eagle's. Looking at him, you could tell that he was not only wise but that he also possessed an unwavering determination. Having witnessed his parents meet a violent death at the hands of bandits, the youngster had inevitably matured earlier than his peers. Lin Yun The youngster dressed in ash-colored clothes slowly announced his name as he faced Lin Dong. Lin Dong Lin Dong courteously replied, as he solemnly cupped one fist in his other hand, giving his opponent the respect, he deserved. Although he had never had any contact with Lin Yun before, Lin Dong rather admired the latter. I will not hold back. Lin Yun warned Lin Dong as he stared at the latter. Thank you. Lin Dong smiled. Upon witnessing this sight, Lin Xiao was slightly stunned, though he recovered shortly after. As he stared intently at Lin Dong, he slowly released a sigh. On the former's fists, an extremely weak radiance flickered signaling that he would use UN power. Since both of you are here, let the match begin. Lin Ken anxiously glanced at Lin Dong before he waved his hand and shouted. Thump! Just as Lin Ken's voice faded, Lin Yun's eyes narrowed. In a single step, he forcefully charged at Lin Dong, as he gripped his five fingers into a fist and directly attacked Lin Dong's chest. Faced with Lin Yun's attack, Lin Dong did not retreat. Rather, to the astonishment of the crowd, he also took a step forward as his right palm quickly extended to catch Lin Yun's fist. As Lin Dong's palm collided against Lin Yun's fist, the latter was unexpectedly blown backwards upon impact. Just as his fist was deflected, Lin Yun's body stance abruptly shifted, effectively evading the palm that Lin Dong had opportunistically threw in his way. Clenching both fists together, he suddenly extended them to smash onto Lin Dong's face. Layer upon layer of fist images were like a torrent of huge hailstones falling from the sky. That kind of power was not one that any sane man would dare to clash against. Falling Rock Fist This familiar fist technique caused Lin Dong to raise his eyebrows. He had seen Lin Shan execute this set of fist techniques before, yet compared to the one Lin Yun had used, Lin Shan's fist technique would appear to be riddled with flaws. Huff Spitting out a breath of air through his throat, Lin Dong knew in his heart that the power of Falling Rock Fist would only grow stronger in a prolonged fight, making it even harder to deal with at the later stages. Thus, he understood that he could not afford to back away now. Since he could not retreat, he could only face it head on. Pa 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 pa! 
with a serene expression on his face, Lin Dong's palms tightened into fists. Immediately, a series of crisp echoes sounded out from the top of the stone platform. All in all, there were eight echoes. Eight Echo Penetrating Fist Upon witnessing this sight, many people in the crowd were slightly alarmed. They never expected that Lin Dong would be able to master penetrating fist to such a degree at this age. This brat, to think that he has made such progress, Lin Xiao was also shocked at Lin Dong's sudden display, though soon after, a cheerful look surfaced on his face. Yes, not bad. In the VIP booth, Lin Zhentian stroked his beard, slowly nodding. Being able to utilize the eighth echo of penetrating fist at such an age was a pretty impressive accomplishment. Yet the force behind Lin Yun's falling rock fist is also extremely strong, and it even has the support of UN power. Hence, even though the eighth echo penetrating fist is powerful, it is still going to be difficult to overpower the former. Though he was thoroughly amazed, Lin Zhang Tian still maintained a discerning eye as he assessed the situation, while muttering to himself. Pa. However, just as Lin Zhenshan's words faded, another clear and crisp sound reverberated in the air. In that instance, the entire training chamber lapsed into a moment of silence. Ninth Echo The Pinnacle of Penetrating Fist Swish In a flash, every member of the crowd immediately turned towards Lin Dong. This time, they managed to spot a weak glow flickering on Lin Dong's fist. UN Power Tempered Body Sixth Layer Crack Cracks emerged on the teacup in Lin Xiao's hand, as he blankly stared at the young man on the stone platform. The Ninth Echo Penetrating Fist? Tempered Body Sixth Layer? Lin Dong, since when did he become this powerful? Brilliant. As he sat on the clan head seat, Lin Zhen Tian was briefly silent, before he slowly uttered out the compliment. Everyone who knew him personally, understood that the strength Lin Dong displayed caused him to be extremely satisfied. Standing in a corner, Lin Mang's expression darkened. He kept his lips tightly sealed and did not utter a single word. Standing behind him, Lin Hong's brow also slightly furrowed. This brat really has some skills. Thump. Under the crowd's stupefied gazes, like a huge boulder, Lin Dong's fist crashed against both of Lin Yun's fists. A tremendous blow erupted as the latter's body flew away like a kite whose string had broken, before finally landing on the ground just outside the perimeter of the stone platform. Crash Seeing that Lin Dong had blown away Lin Yun with just one punch, the surrounding crowd burst into an uproar. Those who had known Lin Dong from before, had their mouths wide open as they were clearly unable to believe that he had made such astounding progress in merely half a year. Lin Ken was likewise stunned by the strength that Lin Dong had displayed. A short period later, he finally hastily opened his mouth and announced the results. Lin Dong is the victor. The training chambers abruptly exploded into applause and cheers as they finally understood that Lin Dong had reached this stage unscathed not through luck, but by the genuine strength he possessed. Lin Dong watched the roaring crowd from his spot on the stone platform, as a small smile formed on his face. He leapt off the stone platform and extended a hand to Lin Yun, are you alright? Penetrating fist ninth echo and tempered body sixth layer. My defeat is justified. Lin Yun looked at Lin Dong with a smile also on his face. He continued, if there is ever an opportunity, I would like to spar with you again. Finishing his words. Lin Yun did not linger and instead turned to leave. Gazing at Lin Yun's back, Lin Dong also smiled. Towards him, he had quite a favorable impression. If there was a chance in the future, perhaps they could get to know each other better. However, before that, he still had to finish Lin Hong off, or else he would continue to harass Ching Tan. Lin Dong turned his head and cast his gaze toward Lin Hong's position only to see that the latter was also looking back at him with faint disdain in his expression. Chapter 23, The Final Three Lin Dong Ji, that was brilliant. As Lin Dong was walking back to his seat, Ching Tan excitedly exclaimed while she stuck her tiny thumbs out in a thumbs up. You little brat, you've hidden it well. Lin Xiao said, 
with a smile on his face. Nonetheless, Lin Xiao did not scold his son as he was simply too astonished by Lin Dong's current strength. Furthermore, Lin Dong's stellar performance today had caused Lin Xiao's face to dazzle with happiness. The excitement in his heart, was even greater than the day where his injuries healed. He <laughs> he. Lin Dong humbly scratched his head as he chuckled. When he realized that Lin Xiao was not going to pursue this matter further, he secretly heaved a sigh of relief. After Lin Dong's duel ended, the competition resumed. The top ten contestants were all fairly famous members among the younger generation in the Lin family. In fact, most of them were at tempered body fifth layer or above. Therefore, their duels were naturally quite exciting to watch, thus from time to time, the crowd would burst into cheers. Five rounds were quickly over. As predicted, Lin Xia and Hong were able to easily secure their victory thanks to their overwhelming strength. Besides them, Lin Dong and two other outstanding youths in the Lin family made it through to the final five. As the final five were announced, the atmosphere in the training chambers heated up. Everyone knew that the following matches were the true highlights of the competition. After drawing lots, one lucky person managed to draw the empty lot. This time, Lin Dong's opponent was a young man named Lin Ting. He was reportedly a tempered body sixth layer, though this did not pose much of a threat to Lin Dong. The two of them swiftly proceeded to their fight after drawing lots and the end result was hardly surprising. Lin Dong's penetrating fist ninth echo forcibly pushed Lin Ting off the stone platform, even though the latter utilized his full strength to resist. Thus, Lin Dong easily advanced to the final three. Nothing special happened in this duel. Therefore, after it ended, the crowd instantly turned their attention towards the upcoming duel. The next matchup piqued everyone's interest, even Lin Dong was interested. On account of the fact that it was Lin Xia against Lin Hong. The two of them were considered as the most elite among the younger generation in Lin family. In fact, most people predicted that either one of them will win this family competition. However, the two of them were to now be clashed unexpectedly before the final round, this exchange would be exciting indeed. Lin Xia Lin Ken hesitantly announced after he saw that both of them had drawn the same lot. Upon hearing Lin Ken's call, Lin Xia acknowledged in her lovable voice. With a twist of her tiny waist, she floated up onto the stone platform like a butterfly. Her slender and valiant look drew the attention of several youngsters. As Lin Xia ascended onto the stone arena, Lin Hong also elegantly leaped onto the arena. Dressed in white, he appeared handsome and refined, at this sight, several people in the crowd lightly nodded their heads in approval. Lin Xia Ji, please go easy on me. Lin Hong respectfully bowed towards her. If I hold back, the one who loses will likely be me. Lin Xia grinned. A rare look of concentration in her eyes. She knew that based on Lin Hong's strength, she will most likely have to fight with everything that she had. Lin Hong smiled as a fire burned in his eyes. Lin Xia could be counted as the most outstanding member among the younger generation of the Lin family. If he could defeat her today, he will be able to claim the number one position. Let the duel begin. Standing below the platform, Lin Ken shouted as he signaled for the match to begin. Just as Lin Ken finished his announcement, a faint glow emerged from the bodies of the two contestants. This was Yuan Power. Tempered Body 7th Layer As they gazed at the rather dense glow emerging from their bodies, many people in the crowd gasped in surprise. Even though they had their suspicions after watching the previous duels, they were still amazed upon witnessing this sight. To be able to advance to Tempered Body 7th Layer at such a tender age. This clearly showed the latent potential they possessed. If they were given proper training, they will definitely have a bright future ahead. On his seat, Lin Zhentian had a content smile on his face as he witnessed this sight. The more stellar the younger generation was, the happier he felt. Lin Xiaoji, watch out! As the glow on his body flickered, Lin Hong's expression turned deadly serious as he abruptly leapt forward. A devastating force could be felt from his two palms which he swung in a horizontal arc towards Lin Xia. Faced with the biting cold wind from Lin Hong's palm, Lin Xia gently took a step back. 
Her long and elegant finger came together and curled slightly in the shape of a hawk's mouth. She struck heavily on the back of Lin Hong's palms, causing them to fall downwards and avoiding the attack. Eight Desolation's Palm Just as his palm was deflected, Lin Hong let out a growl. The force behind his palm turned ferocious as he continuously rained blows at Lin Xia's head. The sound of his hands breaking through the air was indeed impressive. As she was being assaulted by the aggressive palm technique, Lin Xia lightly frowned. She aligned two fingers together, and like a sword, she deftly bypassed Lin Hong's palms and stabbed towards his body, causing the latter to have no choice but to bring back his hands to defend. On the stone platform, two figures intertwined as they fought vigorously while constantly exchanged blows with their palms and fingers. With help from UN power, each blow was amplified, captivating the audience's attention. Lin Dongji, who do you think will win? Ching Tan nervously asked as she involuntarily tightened her tiny fists at the intense duel. Hard to say. Lin Dong hesitated before he finally shook his head. Lin Hong has clearly mastered Eight Desolation's palm as the force generated by his palm techniques were extremely aggressive and packed a huge punch. However, Lin Xia did not lose out to the former. In fact, the martial arts that she used was the level 2 martial arts, Spirit Finger Sword. Even though that type of martial arts did not look formidable, if it was properly mastered, one's fingers will become a sword. Therefore, even Lin Hong did not dare to take a hit from her. As such, it was very difficult to ascertain who would become the eventual victor. Nonetheless, in Lin Dong's heart, he hoped that Lin Xia would win. While they spoke, the battle on the stone arena gradually intensified to a climax. Palms and fists collided, causing a series of deep sounds continuously rang out. This exchange lasted for nearly ten minutes as the glow on their bodies burned brightly. Evidently, they had pushed the UN power within their bodies to the maximum extent. Just as the intensity of the glow reached its peak, the two of them took a step back in unison. Soon after, both of their palms suddenly reached out and collided together under the watchful gaze of the crowd. Bang! An explosive bang sounded out on the platform as both of them were jolted apart by the impact. Both of their feet desperately tried to claw onto the platform, but in the end, both of them fell off at the same time. After witnessing both of them fall off together, a commotion erupted in the training chambers. Evidently, no one was expecting this outcome. Haha, <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. On his seat, Lin Shentian could not help but nod his head in satisfaction after he witnessed that Lin Hong was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Lin Xia in their spectacular duel. Lin Meng, who was sitting beside him, let out a bright smile as he smugly turned to look at Lin Xiao. This match shall be judged as a draw. Since there are only four people left, if there are no objections, Lin Xia and Lin Hong will both take first place, whereas Lin Dong and Lin Chen, will be ranked as second and third respectively. Of course, if anyone still wants to compete and exchange pointers, please step forward now. Lin Shentian stood up and announced with a smile. At this juncture, the rankings for the family competition had largely been decided and any further duels should likely make no difference. Upon hearing Lin Zhenshan's words, the crowd nodded in agreement. That fellow is number one. Lin Dong frowned as he turned to look at Ching Tan, only to discover that she had tightly gripped her tiny fists. Plastered on her delicate and tiny face, was a look of worry. After hearing Lin Zhenshan's announcement, Lin Hong's smile brightened. Turning his gaze towards Lin Dong and Ching Tan, the corners of his mouth lifted into a sneer. Soon after, he took a step forward and prepared to announce his intention for an engagement request, as they say, strike while the iron is hot. However, right before Lin Hong announced his request, Lin Dong, who had been observing the former, suddenly stood up with a dark expression on his face. His voice reverberated in the training chamber. Lin Hong Biao Ji. Lin Dong is untalented. Could you please give me some pointers?